Hi friends, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. In this video, let's discuss third problem in exercise 14.4 in statistics of 10th class mathematics. Right? So before going to the topic, friends, please subscribe my YouTube channel, those who are not subscribed yet. Thank you. Yes, let us go into the topic. Yeah. See, the following table gives the production yield per hectare of wheat of 100 farms of a village. The following table gives production yield per hectare of wheat of 100 farms of a village. See, production yield quintal per hectare number of farms, farmers. See, here production yield has given 50 to 55, 55 to 60, so on up to 75 to 80. Next, number of farmers 2, 8, 12, 24, 38, 16 has given. So, which means two farmers are getting two quintals, uh, 50 to 55 quintals per hectare. Eight farmers are getting 55 to 60 quintals per hectare. In the same way, 16 number of farmers are getting 75 to 80 quintals per hectare. Right? So, the, from this data, we should change distribution to a more than type distribution and draw its own. So, from this data, we should draw more than type distribution table or more than type distribution graph and it's okay. So, which means already in first two problems, we have drawn, yes, less than type cumulative frequency curve, no. Here, greater than or more than type cumulative frequency curves, we should draw. Right, let us draw. Yeah. See, from the given data, I have drawn table like this. Uh, CI, class intervals, frequency, lower bound in GCF I have taken. Here, class intervals 50 to 55, uh, 55 to 60, up to 75 to 80, what has a given in problem itself I have taken. Next, frequency also, same. Right. Here, lower boundary and GCF I have taken. Why I have taken lower boundary and GCF? Yes. Here, problem itself he has clearly given that draw more than type cumulative frequency curve. So, OGI curve of more than type has given now. So, the, the curve which is drawn from the points lower boundary and greater than cumulative frequencies is called greater than cumulative frequency curve. So, that's why I have taken lower boundary and GCF. Here, first write down lower boundaries. So, these are the upper boundaries and these are lower boundaries now. Yeah, take lower boundaries 50 55 60 65 70 and 75 so these are the lower boundaries next greater than cumulative frequency how can you calculate so less than cumulative frequency means here onwards we'll add right 2 2 plus 8 10 8 plus 12 20 like that here greater than cumulative frequency means here onwards we should add so, first one, 16, right, 16 plus 38, see, 16 plus 38, how much? Yeah, 54, 54 plus 24, yes, 78, 78 plus 12, how much? Yeah, 90, 90 plus 8, 98, 98 plus 2, 100. Have you understood clearly? See, first 16, here greater than cumulative frequencies means, here onwards we should add, right? Like this. Understood? First is 16. 16 plus 38, 54. 54 plus 24, 78. 78 plus 12, 90. 90 plus 8, 98. 98 plus 2, 100. Have you understood clearly? Yes. So from this data, we should draw Ogaiu curve more than type. Right? So what are the steps for drawing Ogaiu curve? So first one. First one, what will you write? Yes, draw coordinate axis. Coordinate axis, right? Second one, yeah. Here, take, take lower boundaries, lower boundaries on x axis, on x axis. Here, less than cumulative frequency curve means take upper boundaries on x axis. Here, greater than cumulative frequency curve means take lower boundaries on x axis, right? Yeah. Here, third one, take GCF, greater than cumulative frequencies on y axis. 
right here there lcf here gcfs right next uh, fourth one plot the points plot the points what are the points see 50 100 50 100 see this is 55 98 next uh, 60 90 60 next 65 78 70 54 and 75 16 on the graph sheet right graph sheet next fifth one join all these points join all these points right finally we will get greater than cumulative frequency curve or oge curve more than type and should so from this data i'll draw rough diagram on the board right yeah so with the help of the scale draw draw coordinate axis draw coordinate axis right so this is horizontal axis is called x axis next vertical axis is called y axis y y dash so intersecting point is origin o it is shown by o yes here on x axis we should take lower bound is na lower bound is we, we have to taken from 50 to 50 to 75 only na yeah take here this is 50 55 60 65 70 75 here difference between all these points is 5 but here difference between these two points is 50 only no so here i put kink so this is called kink only na yes put kink because here all these points are equal of distance this point is not equal no then we should put kink right yeah next on y axis on y axis we have to take greater than cumulative frequencies so here are 16 onwards 100 up to 100 only na yeah so here take like this 10 20 30 Forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred. Up to hundred, enough, no? Yeah. So first point, plot now. Here on x-axis, I have taken a uh, fifty of uh, one centimeter is equal to five units. On y-axis, I have taken one centimeter is equal to ten units, right? Yeah. See here. Now plot these points. So first one is fifty and hundred, fifty and hundred. Here this will be right. Next, fifty-five to ninety-eight, fifty-five. See, it is nearly hundred only now. So fifty-five to fifty-five, ninety-eight. Next, sixty and ninety, sixty and ninety here. So this is only rough figure now. So I will explain on this also graph sheet also right. Yeah. So sixty and ninety. Next sixty five, sixty five to seventy eight, sixty five to seventy eight. Nearly eighty, na. So this one, right? Yeah, sixty five to seventy eight. Next seventy to fifty four, seventy to fifty. This is this is fifty, fifty four here, right? Next seventy five to sixteen. This is twenty. This is ten, ten sixteen here. So now join all these points. So this will be like this, right? This will be like this. Understood clearly? So scale, scale right down. On x-axis, one centimeter is equal to how many units? Five units. So don't consider this. This only consider five units. Next. Uh, On y axis, on y axis, one centimeter is equal to ten units, right? Ten units. So here are, we have plot the points, no? So this also uh, again mark these points. This one fifty, fifty hundred. Next uh, this is fifty five, ninety eight. Next this is sixty and ninety. This is sixty-five and seventy-eight. Next, this point is 
सेवेंटी एंड सेवेंटी एंड फिफ्टी फोर नेक्स्ट दिस पॉइंट इज सेवेंटी फाइव एंड सिक्सटी दिस आल्सो मार्क द पॉइंट्स हैव यू अंडरस्टूड अबाउट दिस क्लियरली यस नोट इट डॉन नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन ऑन ग्राफ शीट राइट फर्स्ट आई हैव ड्रॉन two coordinate axes one is x axis and another one is y axis here first we have to take lower boundaries on x axis and greater than cumulative frequencies on y axis right first mark some points on x axis here up to 50 onwards is there 52 to 75 is there so i will mark here take 1 cm as 5 units this is 50 फिफ्टी फाइव सिक्सटी सिक्सटी फाइव सेवेंटी सेवेंटी फाइव राइट अप टू सेवेंटी फाइव एन एफ ना या हिया ऑल दी डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑल दीज पॉइंट सी इज फाइव एंड हियर इज टेन फिफ्टी ओनली ना सो दैट्स वाई वी हैव टू कीप हियर किंक किंक मीन्स सो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑल द पॉइंट्स आर नॉट इक्वल हियर ओनली नॉट इक्वल द रिमाइनिंग ऑल आर इक्वल राइट या सो दीज आर लोअर बाउंड्रीज लोअर बाउंड्रीज आई हैव टेक एन ऑन एक्स एक्सिस नेक्स्ट ऑन वाई एक्सिस वाई एक्सिस ग्रेटर दैन क्यूमलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी सो ओनली नियम वी हैव टू टेक या सो हियर ग्रेटर दैन क्यूमलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी लीस्ट नंबर इज सिक्सटीन अप टू हंड्रेड इज देयर सो हिया ऑन वाई एक्सिस आई एम टेकिंग वन सेंटीमीटर इज इक्वल टू टेन यूनिट्स दिस इज टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी फोर्टी फिफ्टी सिक्सटी सेवेंटी एटी नाइंटी हंड्रेड अप टू हंड्रेड एंड ना या सो दीज आर द पॉइंट्स ऑफ गेट दैन क्यूमलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसीज राइट ऑन वाई एक्सिस राइट या सो नो प्लॉट दीज पॉइंट्स सो फर्स्ट वन इज फिफ्टी एंड हंड्रेड ओनली ना या फिफ्टी ऑन एक्स एक्सिस फिफ्टी नेक्स्ट ऑन वाई एक्सिस हंड्रेड या नेक्स्ट वन इज 95 सॉरी 55 एंड 98 सो 55 एंड 98 दिस इज ऑलमोस्ट दिस वन सी ही हैव वन मिलीमीटर इज इक्वल टू वन यूनिट ना सो 98 इज दिस वन राइट या नेक्स्ट 60 60 एंड 90 60 एंड 90 दिस वन नेक्स्ट 65 एंड 78 65 एंड दिस इज 70 here 78 is this one next 70 and yes 54 70 and 50 this is 50 51 52 53 54 right next 75 and 16 75 this is 10 15 16 right now join all these points see this is the greater than cumulative frequency curve or ogev curve greater than type right so now plot the points or mark these points this is first one is is yes, 50 and 100 50 100 next this is 55 98 next is 60 and 90 this is 65 and 78 next this point is 70 and 54 next final point is this one 75 and 16 right so now right scale scale see on x axis on x axis 1 cm is equal to how much we have taken see 5 units only na this is the difference between all these points is 5 we should not consider this one right yeah so 5 units next on y axis 1 cm is equal to how many units see 10 20 30 like that we have taken na see this is yeah 10 units so have you understood clearly about this graph okay friends yeah. if you like my video please like and share don't forget to subscribe thank you thank you very much